Hello. Happy Monday. Hi, how are you? I hope you're doing really well. Mm. Oh, my rice is done. Today, this is happening. I know, I know, I know, I know. Shh, 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 shh. I'm not bleaching my entire head. Don't worry. Since insert picture here, I played with my extensions yesterday. And uh, now I can't stop fixating about it. So what am I gonna do? Yep, yeah. I'm gonna bleach my fr my fringe. My excuse you. Sorry about that. My mirror fell on you. Is that a sign? <laughs> Is that a sign to not do this? Eh, you only live once, right? And I like to change my hair up, so I want to bleach this part of my hair. And uh, that's what's happening today. But um, first, I'm gonna eat some lunch and then I'll be back doing what I, stuff I shouldn't be doing, but whatever. <laughs> We're fine. fine. Okie dokie, Smokey. I'm wearing my uh, bleaching sweater. I'm nervous. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Why do I do this to myself every time? I don't understand why I never learn. But I guess that's what it's like to be impulsive. Um, I'm even craving the black hair dye again now because I was playing around with my old black extensions yesterday. I don't think that was a good idea. As you can see, like my hair is such a weird cut. It has like these short pieces in front. And then it's kind of like a long mullet. <laughs> Weird. I'm just waiting for this to grow out. These are like all the old damaged part from when I bleached the shit out of my hair. Yeah, this is not a good idea. But I do have a lot of experience with it, so I think we will be fine and we're not bleaching my whole head. So. Oh, we'll be fine, come on. So I don't want like big thick chunks like this. I just want like maybe a couple of centimeters in, like the width of the comb almost. So like, is that too wide? Let's see. Um, I think this is okay. So and this is my weird fucking baby hairs. Can you see this shit? So much new hair growth. Where, where are you coming from? I can't see. So now the thing is like, in Norway you can't buy the big developer and the pack of the bleaching powder. Uh, so you have to buy these. And I know that the strength in these are disgustingly high, like the, the percent or the volume of the developer. And of course, it never say anything, but I assume like when you can light up to <clears throat> what does it say up to eight tones. Uh, I'm definitely diluting it with some shampoo, just some cheap shampoo. In my case, I use Head and Shoulders. Uh, should I go the whole front? No, I couldn't be bothered. Oh my god. My old friend Bleach. 
that have been preventing me to grow out my hair for... Oh my god. 2016 is the last time I had long hair. Holy shit. 16... 17... Eight. See? Oh my god. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22... Six years! Yes, I just had to count on my hands like a little child. That's a reason I failed math. So I will start on the mid chat and leave it on for 10 minutes and then I will work the, on the ends and the roots for the last 10 minutes. Also I'm not applying it to the roots directly, it's because I do not want hot roots because the closer to the scalp the more heat you produce which activates the bleach to work a lot faster than it will on the ends. So try to avoid starting on your roots. Leave always, always leave your roots for last. I speak of experience. <laughs> I think it's already lifting. Right before my eyes. Hi, how are you? I'm just gonna sit like this now because I am terrified of uh, getting it onto any other parts of my head. And I also don't want it to touch my skin because bleach burns your skin. I'll see you in 10 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes and we're definitely getting lighter. Oh yeah, here we are going light as fuck, boy! Oh, also when you do this and you are going to dye your roots and stuff, make sure you at least have three to four days unwashed hair because uh, bleach is very irritating on the scalp so if you have a clean scalp and there's no like natural oils protecting it you will definitely get some burns and that's very uncomfortable so make sure you have greasy hair when you, <laughs> before you do this because uh, the more natural protection you have the better so i feel like even i recommend going to the hairdresser of course when you do this kind of thing uh, even then don't be don't be like embarrassed to go there with dirty hair because the dirtier it is, the better it is for you. Make sure that I get some bleach over the, all of the roots. So I always go in between and cross checks because it's so easy to get like patchy bleaching, bleaching work, which I fucking hate, seriously. The fewer times I need to like bleach over the ends, and the length, the better, because you don't ever want to go over and overlap. Because the more you overlap, the more chances of breakage. Bleach is no joke, seriously, I have been, I know this so well and I've been trying to grow my hair out for six years now and it's finally growing. So I want to be fucking sure that I don't burn my, all my hair off again. Also kind of why I'm considering going back to black because then I will not, I, then I can't, you know? Then I would rather go through the pain of growing it out, you know, for years than to break it all off again. But we'll see. Maybe I'll do some black uh, semi-permanent dye first to see how I feel. But I do really miss my black hair, seriously. It's so fucking, it's such a beautiful color. I'm the goth girl in me, you know? Lost that shit. I don't know why I always keep fucking up. It's like I have such like an identity crisis sometimes and I'm like, wait, am I doing this for me or to please others? Something I've been talking, I talked about this with like Boris the other day, like how I feel kind of like, who the fuck am I? Because I had this really bad breakdown in 2018 and ever since I've been like struggling a lot with my identity. Like I, I'm always the same person, but like the person that I used to express was like so much me. And then what happened to that girl, you know? I don't know if you know, but eh, just thoughts in my mind rambling on, you know? I don't know, do you guys ever have this sense of like identity loss? After my like mental breakdown that year, I just completely lost myself. And I'm like trying to find back to my old self and my own my old confidence, you know? But it's slowly coming back together. And I'm really happy for that. So far my hair feels really good with this bleach. I'm 
<laughs> kind of impressed to be honest. Now I'm gonna leave this in. Keep it. Oh fuck. Keep a close eye on it. Don't get fucking bleach in your eye. Fucking idiot. I'm good. Now I'll let this um, process and I'll wash it out. Put the toner in. We'll see how it turns out. So yeah, see you in a few minutes. I literally have so much bleach left. Hi. Okay, let me clean this up and let's see how it goes. <gasps> that was my middle. Oh, for fuck's sake. That was my other mirror, so I will not have mirrors on that wall. If it's gonna be like that every time I fucking turn the table up and down. All right, this is what we're uh, what we ended up with. I don't hate it. It's uh, it's new. Definitely something I have never tried before. I'm surprised how well and even the color turned out. I don't really see any spots. It's of course a little bit warm, but I actually mind it with this hair color. All I need to do now is just to color correct some parts here, put some warmth in it, and cancel out the leftover greens. Then we're Gucci, but uh, nobody cares about that, so I will probably not bother filming that part. Very nice. I'm feeling it. Oh my god. I like that I can just have it all like, ooh. Do it! Jesus. How you doing? Yeah. That's it for today. For the day. Finally got my new PC, so I'm gonna start editing. Yeah, need to edit.